In this video I'm going to show you how to estimate a regression model for aggregate advertising expenditures. First of all I'm going to read in my data set which in this case is called ADV3. In order to estimate the regression model I want I need to create some new variables. First of all I need to create a constant term which I create by typing in DEF for define followed by constant. Next I need to create a time trend so I'm going to type in DEF followed by trend. These are standard commands within the program. I also want to estimate in log terms so that the coefficients are elasticities. So the next thing I'm going to create is a log of the advertising expenditure series which I'm going to call LA. That's going to be log of real advertising expenditures. I'm also going to create another series which is the log of sales volume which I'm going to call LS. The regression equation I'm going to estimate is a regression of the log of advertising expenditures on a constant, a time trend and the log of sales. So I type in regress and the name of the endogenous variable first, LA, and then the exogenous variables, constant, trend and sales volume. Hit return and it estimates the equation for me. This is quite an interesting equation because note that even though there is a strong trend in the series, the time trend itself is not significant and most of the explanation is coming from the sales volume series. The elasticity here of 0.89 suggests that a 1% increase in sales volume increases ex aggregate expenditure on advertising by 0.89%. Finally, it's worth looking at the residuals, which are stored here as res1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph those residuals. And it does appear that there is still some serial correlation here. Notice that we still get runs of either positive or negative values of the residuals, which suggests that there are some problems with this regression model. That's enough for now, so I'm going to sign off.